Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, my wonderful Facebook friends and family. How you guys are doing today? Hey, happy Friday to you, happy Friday. This is Gregory Wiles in Houston, Texas, for this inspirational morning walk. Miss Cindy Anderson, thanks for checking in. How are you doing today? This is Gregory Wiles with his inspirational morning walk. It's a great day here. You can see the nice skies back there. It's a great day. I can get some exercise in. For the first time listeners, I usually just walk, get to my exercise in the morning, and um, just share my thoughts with you guys. Okay, great, Cindy. Great, great. Nice to know everything is all well and good. Yes, I just share my thoughts as I walk and have a... Um, and just share my thoughts with you guys while I'm walking and talking. But it's a great Friday here. It's a great Friday. I want to send you guys into the weekend with something to think about. Something to think about this um, Friday. So, yes. Anyhow, I'm going to get right into it. Because I want to make sure I get enough time in putting over my point today. But today what I want to talk about is prayers. Today, what I want to talk about is prayers, because, you know, recent, you're looking at the, not of recent, all the time, you're looking on the internet and people might send out stuff, keep me in your prayers, or you might using the term, I'll pray for you, or people say, I need prayers for this, because I'm going to do this, I need prayers, and, you know, we use the term prayers a lot, so I feel the need, I was led to break down prayers in the simplest form, so people, Renita, thanks for checking in, thanks for checking in, Renita. So I feel the need to break down prayers in the simplest form so people can understand what prayers were well, really your prayers. When we're praying, what are we doing? How important it is and how important we are and why we need to do it and do it properly, right? So here is a, a quote from Mr. Miles Monroe. He said, Prayer, prayers are earthly license for heavenly interference. Prayers are earthly license for heavenly interference. Thanks, Tessa. Tessa Hunt, thanks you for checking in, cuz. So prayers are earthly license for heavenly interference. I'm gonna explain what I mean, right? And Mr. John Wesley, he's the founder of the uh, Methodist Church. He had said, without, let me make sure I get it right. Without God, man cannot. And without man god will not without man without god man cannot and without man god will not okay we can explain all what i mean so let me take you back to the beginning man we're talking about prayers stay with me it's gonna all make sense we're talking about prayers right so let's go back to the beginning in genesis 1 26 right he said, God said, let us make man in our own image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earthly, of all the earth, and everything creeping and crawling. So what he's saying, he gave us dominion. He gave man, right? Man dominion over the earth. Man to rule the earth, right? And what is a man? A man is a, it's a spirit in a human in a dirt body a spirit in a dirt body a spirit in a dirt body right so that's what we are we are a spirit this body we walking around in is a dirt body this is our that's what make us legal in in simple terms that's what make us legal here on earth any spirit without a dirt body is illegal on earth and listen to this including god himself he didn't, create, he didn't make it this way. He didn't even give himself the authority here. He gave it to man, a spirit, in a, human, in a, in a dirt body, right? So anything he needs to do here on earth, he needs cooperation from a man. Anything that happened here on earth, he needs cooperation from a man. That's why the enemy, that's why the devil, he needs your body too to do what he needs to do because he too is illegal here on earth. He doesn't have a dirt body, so he's illegal. So remember when who tricked um, Eve into eating the fruit? It's the serpent, right? The serpent. Why the, why the devil didn't just go and let her do, um, tell her to do that? No, he can't. He has to get a dirt body to be illegal here on earth. So he made a deal with the snake. He made a deal with the snake to use his body to trick 
the woman, right? Because he has to get a dirt body. Any spirit here got to get a dirt body to be legal here on earth to do what they need to do, right? So, so and that's why, remember, the snake was, was used to walk upright. And then after he allowed the devil to use his body, that's when God cursed him and make him crawl in his belly and all the good stuff, right? It's Tracy Heyman, thanks for checking in. Lilo Escalante, thank you for checking in. So that's to make, um, so that's when, when we are praying in a nutshell, this is a long teaching, but I'm gonna try and, and give you the gist of it. So when we are praying, right, we are actually giving God permission to use our dirt body to do what you need to do on earth. That's why he need us. And that's why prayers for the believer is a serious thing. It's a serious thing because nothing he can do here on the earth without our permission, without our permission. So you might walk around telling yourself you're little and insignificant and you don't got, no, you're, the body that you got is a hot commodity. It's a hot commodity. That's why you hear about demon possession and people, they need our body, both God and the devil need our body to do what, what they're gonna do here on earth, right? So that's why our prayers are so important because they need our body to do whatever they're gonna do here on earth, right? So when we actually praying, we are giving God's permission to operate here on earth, to intervene in the situation that we're praying on. We're giving him permission to intervene in that situation, whichever situation we're praying about. So when somebody say, hey, you know, we're going through this stuff, I need some prayers, they're asking us to give God the permission. It's like building up the army, right? They give him permission to come and intervene in this on behalf of my sickness, in behalf of whatever I'm going through, right? And, and, and when we are praying for healing, guys, if we change the way we pray, knowing that God need us, you need this dirt body to do what you need to do. If we're praying and you're praying for healing and you say, God, you heal me for your sake, not for my sake, because you need this body to do what you need to do. So you heal me for your sake and not for my sake. But most of the time when we're going for healing, we're going on our, um, on our own um, personal selfish reasons. And he looking at us, he know your heart, man. If I heal you, you're going right back and do the same things that cause you probably to get sick. Right? You can go right back and do this stuff. But if you ask prayer for your healing and everything and let them know, God, you need this body. You need this to operate here. That's how important I am to you. So I ask you to heal this body because you're not healing your spirit. You're healing your body. Heal this body so, so you can still use it to do what you need to do. Right? So if we change the way we praying and understand this concept for healing or for anything. You know, when I was preparing for this, I remember I had a question way back when I was about like 18 years old. I had a friend that went to school with me. Every little wicked stuff happened in the neighborhood. You don't have to ask. You know he's involved. Everyone, you know, he's involved some way, shape, or form. All the little wicked, any little thing going to happen, he is involved some way, shape, or form. And he had an accident one time on a motorcycle, and the, the handlebar hit him on his heart and caused a hole in his heart. And he had to be on like, about, I think he said, about 16 to 17 pills a day for the rest of his life to survive because he had this big hole in his heart. And he said, after a couple of weeks, he got fed up of taking all these pills and he made a deal with God. He said, God, I don't know if you're real, but if you are real, I'm going to throw away all of these pills and stop taking them. And if you heal me and I'm still here, I know you are real and I will serve you. So, Audrey, thank you for checking in. He said, if you're real, I will serve you. And you know what happened? He stopped taking those pills, and he went back to the doctor about a week or two weeks after his regular checkup, and his heart was good as new. And I asked myself, why God would do this? This little wicked guy, I know. Why God would do this for him? Well, you know what? Now when I was preparing this, I get the answer. The way how he went to God. He said, God, if you heal me, I can give you this body to use. I'm going to tell you all the time, and if your heart is sincere, he did, after he was healed, he did, um, went and become one of the, um, the most serious Christians that I know. But when he, he made that deal with God and said, I'm going to, if you heal me, I'm going to give you this body to use. He make a covenant with God. This body is yours now for you to use. God can take that deal all the time. 
because he know he need our body. He can take the deal. So next time you go and you pray sincerely, you tell him heal the body for his purpose and now you are sick. Heal it for his, but you got to be sincere. And that's why sometimes you wonder why some people get healed and some not, right? So we go in and what's in our heart. So guys, I want you to understand our body. That's why he used a lot of these people. He used um, Abraham to do all we need to do. He could have do all this stuff himself, right? If you look at Genesis 12. But he need people. He need people. When you're praying for a financial blessing, money just don't fall from the sky, right? He used somebody to bless you. So that's how important we are. This dirt body that we have. That is the most prized possession that we have as human beings. This dirt body. That's why when we don't have um, when we don't have access to this body anymore, our spirit becomes illegal now, and that's why we have to leave. That's why we call death. Because when we don't have access to our bodies anymore, this suit that keeping us legal here, we have to leave. So Ivor Thompson, thanks for checking in. That's what we call death, right? Because any spirit without a dirt body is illegal on this earth. That's including God himself. He make it that way. And that's why he don't break. He don't go back on his word. He don't go back on his word. And the enemy knows that. So that's why he can trick people to get to do what he want them to do. Because if we don't pray and give God that permission, he can run things all he wants. All he wants. Because God would not go back on his word. He make it like that. And that's why, quickly... That's why when God had wanted to intervene himself here on earth, what he had to do? He had to come through a woman the same way how we make it. Because he's not going to go back his word. He's not going to jump right in. He had to come through a woman. And that was Jesus, right? He had to go through the whole process that he made and come to do the work himself. Because he had to get a dirt body to be here legally to do what he needs to do by himself. And that's how Jesus come about in a nutshell, right? That's how Jesus, he had to come as with a dirt body, he had to be legal. That's why he had to come through the whole process through a woman because that's how we make it. He don't go back on his rules. He don't break his rules because if he break his rules, we can't trust him anymore. So that's why he had to come as a man with a dirt body to be legal here on earth for himself to do what he need to do. So that's how important your body is. So next time you put in the drugs and the alcohol and you're abusing the body and all these people prostituting themselves, no this body is a prized possession. This body is a hot commodity. God needed, the devil needed for do what he needed to do. God needed for do what he needed to do. So take care of your body. And prayers are necessary. Nothing is going to happen here on this earth without you giving permission to God to do it. So whatever situation you're in, that's why prayers are so important. You giving God that permission to operate here on earth because he cannot do nothing here on earth without our permission. He has the authority, but you got the power. And you got the power to say, yes, I'll give you permission or no, I will not give you permission. That's how powerful you are. You can say, God, no, I'm not giving you permission to do this. Abraham would understand this concept. Well, but that's the next teaching. I don't want to go on too long, but I might do a part two on it. But that's what prayers are in a nutshell, guys. You giving God permission to operate here on earth. He needs your permission. Little insignificant you think you are, he needs your permission to operate here on earth because that's the way he made it. That's the way he made it. So next time you're telling somebody to pray for me or I'll pray for you, understand what you are doing and don't take it lightly. Mr. Rod Foreman, thank you for checking in. So that's how important prayers are, guys. I can do a follow-up on this because this is a big teaching and I want to make sure I bring home the point clearly in the next teaching um we might follow up on this on monday i want to make sure people understand what prayers really is right so you guys have a great weekend think about that over the weekend and um we can follow up more on it on monday miss taylor thank you for watching